All right, this is a quick lesson on absolute value. One of the, again, like all math, could be easy, could be extremely confusing. You just never know. But this, I do believe this one is looking confusing, but it's very easy. Uh, don't let that just, don't let that intimidate you. But look, real quick, absolute value, and I put the symbols for absolute value around absolute value, so it'd be like a notes within notes. Okay, so the absolute value is, it's just, basically it's the distance from zero. If you look right here, we've got zero on a number line, right? And here's negative two, and here's three. So what would be the distance from zero for three, right? It would just be one, two, three, and the distance from zero for negative two is one, two. So... The, fir like the first quick rule would just say, it's, it, you know, absolute value is always positive. So if you want to add that to the notes, add that to the notes. Okay, so then I get these four quick problems to give you a good uh, introduction to absolute value. And basically, what's the absolute value of 2? Well, negative 2, we already know. It's just 1, 2, right? So it's 2. Absolute value of 3, we've already did that, is 3, but to count it again, it's 1, 2, 3. And then, here we want, we want, I want you to see this, this relationship. 2 is 1, 2 is right here, right? So what's the distance from 0 for 2? It's 1, 2. Now, that's important. Alright, last one. Uh, negative 3 is right here. And the distance from zero is one, two, three. So a couple easy things teachers like to tell our students is that absolute value is always positive. And basically you just keep that number inside of there. Now though, later on down the road, things will get more complicated. But just know that the answer of anything you do inside these, these absolute value symbols, whatever comes out of the middle of all that is going to be positive. So this is two, this is three, this is two, this is three. Always positive.